Hey guys, the Heart here, and I'm rolling right into the next evolution, which I decided to do Jolteon. Jolteon, I, um, he was the last, okay, uh, sp well, spoiler alert, I'm, you know, one of the old school Pokemon trainers. When I would play Pokemon, uh, there was, it only went up to Ombreon and Espeon at the time. Uh, out of those five, Jolteon was the last one that I got my hands on, in all honesty. Um, I don't know why, it just took me forever to get it. Like, I couldn't find a Thunderstone. It made me mad. But now I have him in my, in my paws. So let's go ahead and, uh, do this, uh, evolution. And, yeah. Woohoo! Let's get started. So... What you'll need for this project is yellow, uh, some white, and a clear band so that way you can make the neck piece. The neck piece I'm going to show you how to do after the video of how to make the body because, yeah, fair warning, the neck piece is going to frustrate some people and I'm sorry ahead of time. Okay? Let's get started. Okay, so what I've realized is you can't put color in between the bands. So I'm just going to go ahead and do pretty much the entire body out of yellow and hopefully I have enough yellow. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so double, 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 trilin trouble, fire burning cauldron bubble. Macbeth. 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 Some of you are probably like, what is she talking about? Talk about Macbeth, bro. Talk about Macbeth. 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 Okay? So, double, 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 double in a row of four. Looks like highlighter up in here. Let me go ahead and loom it up like normal, but I have to be careful because these ones are old so you know what happens with old bands you know guys is they have a tendency to break just because yellow is not one of those colors that I usually use and I am failing at life and my cat is meowing because my can't my cat does not like when I make videos alright so that's all loomed up so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Just, I'm going to leave that on there and I'm going to do another, uh, front paw, which is going to be double, 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 double. And cap. Or not. So reach in that cap band and you loom it up. So I got the two legs, or at least the two front legs, and I'm going to put them over here. For the earpiece, we're going to do double, triple, double, twist the band onto itself, put it down. Make sure both pieces, there it goes, there we are, double another band onto itself, put it down, and then cap it.
part of my cap came off. There it goes. So now I'm going to go ahead and just loom it like normal. And you're going to need two ears, which that's kind of a no duh. Okay. So this is the first ear. I'm going to go ahead and do the other ear off camera. So we got ourselves uh, two ears, two legs. What else do we need? Oh, Jolteon don't got no tail, so we don't got to make him a tail. But what I'm going to do, just because um, he does kind of have like spikes around his butt, what I'm going to go ahead and do is grab a band and I'm going to go ahead and tie a yellow band around the other band. This will take some practice and some patience, but eventually you will get it and it will look like that. Okay, it's like a bow. Put that aside. Okay, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put down a random band. I'm gonna start at the very top. None of this usual stitch of heart stuff with the in the middle of the project thing. No, no. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attach the earpiece like normal. So, like that, okay? Just like that. And then we do double yellow, double yellow, double yellow, double yellow in the center of the face, double yellow going into the center of the face. Make sure to move everything down. Double yellow here. And now we're going to do double yellow neck. Double yellow shoulders, which I need to move down the neck band. There it goes. Okay. Uh, double yellow down the center and we're going to go and do one, two, I believe it's supposed to be three, oops that's a white band, three rows of double yellows, I have a band that's stuck, there it goes. Okay, so go ahead and do that on uh, both sides and make sure that your bands are not all bunched up like weirdness. Okay, don't forget to do the center of the body. If you don't do the center, it'll be kind of sad. Okay. And uh, now, don't forget to attach your arm, uh, your front arm pieces. So you're going to hold your foot like that. And, excuse my fluffy sleeves, I'm doing this in my robe. I love you guys so much, I'm doing this in my robe. And I'm going to attach the arm piece there. And attach my other arm piece onto the other peg where the shoulder is, like so, twist it around so that way his arms are facing out and he's going, hi world, okay, just like that, now we're going to go ahead and do the legs, so you have one, two, three, and now from this point, you're going to keep going a few more times, which is going to be, that's one, that's two, here's three, and then we gotta do four. All right. And now 
we got to do the other leg, which is going to be the same thing, double bands. Uh, that band stuck. Double bands. I'm running scarce on the yellow, guys. Like, I literally need to go just buy another multi-pack so that way I can have some more yellow so or else poor Flareon will never get done. Okay? So then we're going to grab that weird piece uh, that I that we did with the bow on it. Okay? And we're going to attach it like how we would do the tail uh, piece. Which is a triangle. Here. It's a triangle band. So let me go ahead and make it a triangle again. A triangle band. This piece is down at the bottom. And I'm going to pull that bow piece over that peg and kind of tuck it in. Okay. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and get another yellow band. And I'm going to twist it onto itself and do some triangles. So a triangle right there. I'm going to go ahead and do a triangle right there. Okay. Don't forget to, to do your two cat bands. Cat band. Oh, cat band. Not captain. I'm saying cat band. Da da da. Okay. All right. And then I almost forgot to say put the eye bands on, but I didn't forget. It kind of looks like a Pikachu. Because there's ooh, hardly any color, but you know, yellow is mostly identified with them Pikachus, those Pokemons. <laughs> All right, so from this to that, go ahead and just loom it up, okay? So, working our way up, we're gonna go into that cat band and work our way up like so. I'll keep going up those leg bands until I reach the body part. And I'm going to go ahead and do this one now. You're probably thinking, it doesn't look very much like a Jolteon. Don't worry. Hopefully when we go to do the neck piece, it'll make it look a lot better. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, go in there, reach in that weird little, I guess that would be the tail band, and yeah, loom in, uh, reach in the triangle band, loom up, reach in the triangle band, loom up, reach in all those bands that are for the arms, and grab those two at the very bottom, and loom, like that. I don't know why yellow turns out so fluorescent in videos. Okay, and go ahead and just loom up the rest of the other side, making sure not to accidentally grab that uh, triangle band when you're doing your lumen. Oh my god, these freaking bands are so old. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to do the center. Uh, go ahead and loom up that weird piece. Make sure that weird bow piece is still there. Don't accidentally catch it in your hook like I just did. And loom up the center of the body. Get all the way to the neck and work onwards. Oh, I forgot a piece. One of the neck pieces, it didn't come up. No, I'm not trying to play the banjos. I'm trying to just loom. Okay, sorry. <sighs> all right, grab the top two bands. 
loom them to their designated areas. Okay. Make sure your eyes are separated so that way you don't have any problems. And then the side of the face. Okay. Okay. It's a beautiful okay. Good thing about the slip knot is it's a color other than yellow, which I'm off camera. But you know how to do a slip knot, probably. Bottom band over the top. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and take this yellow blob off of my loom. Okay. Is like my hand, don't you? Okay, now pull. Good thing my blue ones aren't old. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of looks like a really messed up Pikachu, but with some pulling, he'll be okay and he'll be a normal evolution. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put his trainers on for a while. If you don't know what that is, I like to bind the two front paws with the back two paws in order to give it more posture. And it's just until I feel that the bands have uh, kind of settled. It helps them stand in my opinion you don't have to put the posture things on I just do okay why don't you want to work I don't know but his head doesn't want to stay up weird go ahead and grab that weird bow piece so it's sticking on his but I know you can't really see it here. Ta-da! What I went ahead and did, just to give it a little bit of a spiky spike on his butt, you can't really see it, but it's just pretty much for your own personal use. Is I cut it in half so that way it's got a little spikes. Okay. And yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and make the neck piece real quick, and then we'll come back. Alrighty, for the neck piece, you'll need a clear band and a bunch of white bands. You're going to go ahead and tie white bands onto the clear band, like how we did that one butt piece. And you're going to repeat this step over and over and over again until you get your designated thickness of the neck piece. When you tie the bands together, they do not like to work the first try, so just be patient. And then go ahead and just pull those uh, knotted pieces together and go ahead and do it like so. And yeah, I went ahead and already prepared one. This one has 10 bows on it. So yeah, that's what it's going to look like. Go ahead and grab your band of awesomeness and wrap it, the clear band around your Jolteon's neck about three times, making sure that the uh, white is towards the front. I mean, it could be towards the back, too, if you added more. But since I only did 10 of those bows, because I started getting annoyed, uh, it's only going to have 10. So it's only going to look like this. Okay. Uh, and then the step's optional. You can leave it like this if you want to, but I don't think that looks good. So I went ahead and I cut the little uh, 
bows kind of a thing. Like each little loop I went ahead and cut. So that way, I don't know, it just looks more spiky because he is an electrical Pokemon. He looks like a giant thunderbolt walking around without a tail. Okay? So that's my opinion. So let me know below if you think that it looked better with uh, no, like them together or cut. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of space. Okay, there we go. Uh, here is my, what is this? Third, fourth installment of evolution stuff. Okay. So we got ourselves a Jolteon. One of the first evolutions. Okay. And of course, don't forget to put the little gleam on the eye, which I'll go ahead and do while I'm doing my spiel at the end. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you went ahead and made this project with me, or you just like watching me make Pokemons, uh, go ahead and click like also. And yeah, uh, I make videos whenever I can. And I hope you guys like this installment of uh, one of, I don't know, Evolution. That's what I'll call it, I guess. Alright guys, have a very craftastic day and bye!